Hey, it's time from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Alpaca Elements Pro backpack, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you gear to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. Okay, so kicking this thing off on the outside, we got a couple interesting things going on. First of all, all these zippers, or most of them on this bag, are lockable. So if you can see there, there are little loops. You can put a lock right between those and keep things locked up, which is great. And then we have two water bottle pockets on the side. Pretty minimal going on. We got uh, kind of an elastic here and then some gusseted fabric. I think this is pretty good. Sometimes this elastic can wear down and become a little bit loose but I like the way this looks and it's tight against the bag. And I've just got a hydro flask on this side. Fits in there relatively well, but I'm gonna take it out for the rest of this review. Other than that, on the outside, there's really not a lot else going on. It's a very clean profile and most of the functionality is on the inside of the bag. Onto the harness system, we have a padded handle up here at the top. Super comfy to grab. I really like the way they solved this. Sometimes brands will just put like a little bit of a kind of a strap here like this, and it's not as comfortable to grab. So I really like what they've done, they've done up here at the top. There's a bit of padding, very soft and easy to grab. We have nice contoured shoulder straps coming down. I find this very comfortable to wear. And if we flip it around, these kind of like um, polygonal, hexagonal, polygonal things <laughs> um, take a little bit of getting used to, but they are comfortable. They do feel a little bit weird. I haven't really seen any other bag that's created a padded pattern like this. So I like the originality there. Very, very cool. Uh, we have a daisy chain coming down here and some Hypalon loops if you want to attach any accessories or the sternum strap this bag comes with. I opted not to use the sternum strap because it had a bag of 26 liters, um, which is two liters more than the original version. I just found that you didn't really need it. Plastic hardware down here at the bottom, just standard adjustment, another little Hypalon reinforcement point there. It's kind of this rubbery fabric feel, which I dig. And then we have elastic keepers on the straps as well, just to manage some of that excess strap. If I flip this back, you can see what we got going on the back panel here. So we have some relatively dense padding here, and then a nice air channel in the middle, followed by this handle thing, which you can use to grab the bag like this, or else this is an amply sized luggage pass through as well. So you put your luggage right through there, just like that. All right, so here I've got the backpack on and fitted to myself. I find it to be very comfortable. It contours my back very nicely with my body type at about six foot two, 200 pounds. And then I also dig that this bag is slim. I think it looks really good. It's not the best to pack if you wanna have like bulkier items inside, but I love the way it looks as far as the side profile goes. And the back looks nice as well, nice and clean. Let's start with a quick access pocket on the top. One thing you'll notice if you're looking at the website photos is that they have a zipper garage here. Our version doesn't have that. Again, not sure if it's not gonna be there in the production model or if they just didn't put it on our sample. So that's something to note. Opening this up, I love the quick access pocket. It's like scooped down. There's a lot of room inside. I've just got like a mask and sunglasses in there. And I love how much room is there. One drawback of this though, is that my laptop is right here. So that kind of cuts into the space of this top pocket, but it is nice and roomy. And the interior is a nice soft felt, very comfortable to grab and good for your like sunglasses or your electronics that require a little bit of a softer touch. We have this fabric gusset down here, which keeps the pack looking good and some weather resistance there, keeps water from getting into that zipper. This opens up and there's a pocket down here just with like a wool buff on the bottom. And then we have this white kind of honeycomb liner here, which I really, really dig. This pocket like isn't quite this big, you know, it's relatively small, but again, it's scoopy. So it's, it ends right about here. So it's not quite this full dimension, but it ends here. Let me zip that back up. And then we have this top horseshoe compartment here. This opens up to a nice admin panel. I really, really like the amount of organization Alpaca is offering here and a lot of it's zippered as well. So we have this nice stretchy mesh up here at the top. I've just got my wallet and AirPods on the inside that fits very nicely right in there. 
And then down here, there's a bit of a hidden zippered pocket. I've just got like some chapstick and some other items down there, as well as this little pocket here for an air tag. Now it doesn't really hold the air tag in there like super well. Like if you jostle this around, there's a chance that's going to pop out and go into this main area, but that's totally fine considering um, that this is a zippered pocket. So as long as it's zipped shut, your stuff is going to be safe inside. Let me have these three things here. Um, this is for their, it's called the hub system. And what this allows you to do is attach their clips and accessories to this bag. And I actually like it here a little bit better because this thing fully folds down, gives you access, and there's a little bit of room for those accessories down here. Inside the main compartment gets a little bit tight, but I wanted to show you how it uh, looks in the main compartment. Now, but if you have the hub system here, they're gonna kind of be flapping all around if you bring this thing fully down. So just keep that in mind. We have the Bellroy Passport wallet just up here hanging out on the top, like a nice notebook would work there as well in these two liner pockets. Uh, Tom Bin Ghost whale pouch here, and then just a pen in the middle. So nice little liner pockets for sized items. And then another zippered pocket up here on the top. Just got like a couple of snacks inside of there. And yeah, I really, really like this front area. The organization is like just right. And it all lays flat if you don't want to use any of it. Love all the zippered pockets. Last but not least, let's pop into the main compartment. So it zips down just a little bit further than this top horseshoe pocket admin organizer that I just showed you. So let's unzip that, and really open it up to get a look inside. Now you can see it opens up like this. So you have like a lot of access, but when you have the front part full, it can be kind of hard to access what's down here at the bottom. So I've just got a tech kit down here at the bottom and I just wanted to show you that if you have all of these hub accessories here with things attached, it can hinder the access down to the bottom of that main compartment. So I've just got alpacas. I believe it's called the zip wallet here. This is the hub system. So you can just attach and detach stuff with relative ease. This is a cool way to pack. If you like a lot of modularity and a lot of small different pouches for everything, it's a cool way to keep everything all in one place too and just lined up. So you could have hub accessories like six going across here and then six in this front admin panel and you're just good to go. You're, you're magneting in and out of there. And it's a really kind of a cool way to, to pack if you want. Um, so that separate pouch was right in here at the bottom. There we go, boom. And then behind this hub clip, it's just a clip, let me just show you. It just comes off like that. So that's how it looks. Then there's a magnetic holder there. Set this to the side. And then we have like a small tablet pocket this has that same fabric, that kind of soft felty like fabric that we've seen on this top quick grab pocket. And then we have that same fabric in the back here. I've got my 16 inch MacBook Pro here. So you can really see how it sort of gets in the way of that top quick grab pocket. These kind of collide with one another. Um, so that's just something to note too. It's more of just like a slight annoyance, um, nothing too crazy, but that fits in there really, really well. And then let me just check. There's a bit of a false bottom here as well. It's not too drastic, but the laptop stays elevated off the bottom of the bag. So if you drop it, it's not just gonna smack into the ground. I always like when brands consider that. So interior, a little bit tight at the bottom, as you can see, a little bit slim. However, if you have the right stuff and you're ready to pack it inside, then you're good to go with this size. So there you have it, the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.